Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about my current skincare routine. I'm a big fan of skincare, I love trying new things out, as you will tell from my current routine. Um, I use lots of different things for the same thing, different times. I alternate with what I use, basically. I've now kind of picked certain things that I use all the time, so I thought I would share it with you now I've kind of settled on a bit of a routine. My skin type is normal to combination. I get really, really dry down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead and on my chin, um, but around my nose and like around my jaw, around here, it gets quite oily, So, which is a bit of a bit annoying, but you learn to live with it, don't you? So if, you, if your skin type isn't like mine, this might not work for you. The majority of the products are probably worth a try anyway because I think they're okay for the majority of skin types. A couple of them are actually for all skin types but yes, so I'll get straight into it. So we'll start with my morning routine and I'm going to be completely honest here, my morning routine is so lazy it is unreal. I never give myself any time to do anything properly um, for a morning skin routine. I'm usually rushing around trying to just kind of look presentable to leave the house for work. So, first thing I like to start with in the morning is the Clinique um, Liquid Facial Soap Oil for. It's, this is for the oily skin. I was given this in like a little like trial set for Christmas, and I absolutely love it. I actually use all three products in my routine. Um, but yes, I start the morning with this. It's literally like just a cleanser for your skin. It's really, really soapy, really, really nice. It leaves your skin feeling so soft. I absolutely love this. And it's so quick and easy to use as well. You put it on dry skin and then literally just wash it off and you're good to go. I like to do that in the morning just because it gives you like a nice fresh start on your skin, like a black canvas as they say, and gets all of the makeup that didn't maybe didn't come off in the evening, off in the morning and so you're ready to go. Um, now this is where a bit of multitask, multitask, not multitask, this is where I like I will change up what I use each day depending on how I feel. That is all I do in the morning with washing my face. I then just go to moisturiser and the ones I've been loving at the moment are, we've got the um, Talika Paris, the um, Photo Hydra moisturiser. Um, I like to use this one if I'm putting makeup on and then filming. It just gives a really nice base for the skin, it evens the skin tone out and yeah, it just looks really nice on camera. So there's that one. This one's so hydrating as well, so if you do suffer from dry skin, if you do suffer from dry skin, I really recommend this one. Another one that I like to use, this is the one that I tend to use when I'm going to work for the day. This is the Nivea Daily Essentials Ex Express Hydration Primer Moisturiser. I'm lazy in the mornings, like I've just said, so I don't really have time to use a primer, but this is a tomb one, so it's a moisturiser with a primer in it, and it smells amazing. I love things that smell really like fresh and clean, and this is definitely something that does, and leaves your skin feeling really, really nice and soft and just ready, and it soaks in really quickly as well, so you don't have to wait a long time to then start putting your makeup on. And that, my friends, is it for my morning routine. I told you I was very lazy, but I do like to take my time in the evenings, so... My evening routine is, the thing obviously I do is take my makeup off and there are actually three things that I like to use to take my makeup off. One of them I've been obsessed with recently is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. When I got this, I was really worried about the whole oil thing with having like oily um, patches on my skin. I was like, oh, is this going to break me out or make me really shiny, that sort of thing. It is amazing. Um, what I do with that is I put it on a cotton pad, like two cotton pads, and rest it on my eyes um, for about 10 to 20, between 10 and 20 seconds, and then wipe it away, and it literally dissolves your makeup beautifully. I then wipe it around my face to get, um, or to start getting off the foundation and everything else that is packed onto my face that day. And then I will go in with my number seven Beautiful Skin Hot Cloth Cleanser. Now, if you're anything like me and you can't afford the Liz Earl Hot Cloth Cleanser, which I would love to be able to afford and try, this is an amazing alternative. It's really wet, because I've just taken it out of my bathroom. Um, sorry it's dirty, I do use it every day. <laughs> this is for all skin types, so anyone, I highly recommend you to try this. I love it. In the pack you get this and then you get a, a, like a muslin cloth as well. Mine's a yellow for some reason, not quite sure why. But yes, I like to use this after I've removed my makeup and then just gets rid of what's left, if that makes sense. Another thing I've been really, really enjoying using to take my makeup off recently is the Clarins Pure Melt Cleansing Gel. I 
really really do like this actually again you put it on on dry skin it's for all skin types again uh, this is like a tiny sample thing I've only used a sample size one um, but yeah you put it on dry skin and then you wet your hands and massage it into your skin with your hands and it kind of it goes on clear and then it turns into like it goes into like a white milky kind of formula um, and you can really see it moving your makeup I love it and then you just wash it off with warm water again I use either a flannel or the muslin cloth and then if I use that I again also go on with this without fail I use this every every day to take my makeup off I just find it really helps with keeping my skin clear and it helps with spots as well I don't usually suffer from spots that very, that very often that often but when I do life at the moment I've got one at the moment so anyone else like me like they don't really get spots but when they do they're always really big obvious ones in the middle of your face anyway we digress um, yeah without fail I always use the number seven hot cloth cleanser I love it this is actually my fourth bottle I think then I like to use the um, Clinique clarifying lotion um, the only thing I'll say about this is it stinks like it it smells so, it makes my eyes water a little bit, the smell of it. It smells quite alcoholic, I don't think there's anything like alcoholic in it. I don't know, but it really, really does smell, it makes my eyes water, this does, but I love how it leaves my skin feeling and looking. It makes it look so clean and it makes it feel really, really soft as well. Um, again, I just use a cotton pad with that and wipe it all over my face. And then when that is dry, I either like to use the Clinique uh, moisturising gel. I'm a big fan of moisturising gels, actually. Um, I find them quite, what's the word? Refreshing? I kind of find quite refreshing on the face. Um, yeah. Yeah, more than a cream. And I find they soak in a lot better than a cream as well. They don't leave your skin feeling quite so, like... Maybe tacky is not the right word, but you know you put a moisturiser on and then you've got to wait for it to dry a little bit and your skin kind of just feels a bit, yeah, tacky and damp and your fingers stick to it, that sort of thing. That, that doesn't, I don't, I haven't tried another gel so I don't know if it's just that, but yes, I love that. If I don't use that, I also use the um, Body Shop Tea Tree Blemish Fade Night Lotion. I probably use this more than the Clinique one. I love the smell of tea tree, my skin really really likes tea tree, it reacts really really well to it and yeah it's just really nice and easy to use, quick and easy and really really affordable as well actually. I've had this for ages, there's 30 mils in here and I use two, four pumps, two pumps on each side, that makes sense. <laughs> um, this is another thing that I always always repurchase as well. So that is kind of like my everyday morning and evening routine. Another thing I'm going to throw in is a face mask that I will use maybe once or twice a week and it's the um, Nukes, I can't pronounce it, oh I can, I've got it in English, hold on. It's the Nukes 24 hour soothing and rehydrating face mask for your face and eye contour area. It de and relaxes. This is like a holy grail product for me. I actually got this in the beauty box, surprise surprise, and it's the face mask that you put on, it goes on clear and you leave it on for 10 minutes and you can either wash it off with like a cleanser or you can just rub it in and what I do is I put it on, leave it on for 10 minutes and then I rub it in my skin and it leaves your skin feeling so soft and so hydrated, it makes it look really really plump maybe isn't, I don't know, I'm using weird words today, it just doesn't look dry basically, I found it really really hydrating, I'm definitely going to be repurchasing another one of those when that one runs out, I love it. I want to try um, some more face masks as well, I'm not a big face mask kind of person but I do really want to try some more, um, mainly more for like, for dry skin, I find my skin dries out quite quickly and that's when your makeup starts to look a bit funny and not nice. So yeah, if you've got any recommendations for face masks for dry skin, do leave them in the comments, I would love to know. I was going to ask something else as well in this video and I cannot remember what it is. Um. Skin exfoliants. I don't use them, but I think I should. Can any of you recommend a, like a gentle skin exfoliant? My skin's quite sensitive, so nothing with seaweed in or anything like that. But yeah, any advice on a skin exfoliant? I will leave that one in your hands. That is it for this video, I think. If you're a new subscriber, hello, welcome, and thank you for subscribing. If you're new to watching and you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button. You know you want to 
go on. <laughs> That's for this video. If you have enjoyed it, all my social media links are down below as always. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. See ya. See you later.